MovieWeb.com. How'd you hurt your arm? My fib. Me too. I'll tell you a story. Close your eyes. There were five of them. The Indian. The ex-slave. An explosive expert. Charles Darwin. And the masked bandit. They had one common enemy. Governor Odious. Is Odious a bad man? Oh, yeah. Well, my first question is, you play a stuntman in Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, did you go back and look at a lot of the footage that they added into the end of the movie and just were shocked by it? I, yeah, I did. I did. I, it's, I, one of the things that actually kind of drew me to the film at the beginning, he, um, I, I think it's a really interesting time. It's kind of when um, these pioneers were figuring out what films were and what the possibilities were and um, kind of put us on the road that we are now with these, you know, huge big action movies that are all stunts and, because that's what people wanted to see back in the day. That, that's what they wanted to see. They wanted to see um, newsreel footage of someone riding on top of a biplane or um, jumping from a, you know, a train onto a moving car, you know, or, I mean, they wanted to see those big epic stunts. That's what, that's what was cool. You know, so. What's well, a good little thing they add in at the end of the movie too? Because I wasn't expecting to see that. I mean, after all the stuff you see. <laughs> well, I, I think a lot of the movie is about. Um, it's about movies. It's you know, it's it's about it's about movies. This little girl has never seen a movie before, and so the way she imagines the story is totally pre-cinematic. When I imagine things now, I imagine. I imagine things like a movie. Mm -hmm. I, I actually think my dreams are in coverage. You know. <laughs> yeah. And uh, she doesn't have that, so she imagines it in um, a t colorful, expressionistic kind of way. And uh, that's a big part of, I think, what the, what the movie is about. You yeah. Know? Well, um, I read the notes that you had pretty much everybody on the crew convinced that you couldn't walk, right? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 uh, yeah Tarse, it was Tarsem's idea that I would, I would come in and introduce myself as Roy to everyone, and, uh, and that I was... That I was that I would be in a wheelchair and everyone would believe it. And it was great, it got the whole um, atmosphere on set to be a little more sensitive. And, uh, and me and Katinka were able to kind of uh, connect in a more uh, private way. When she would get into that bed, she would be very conscious of my legs. And she'd be very, um, she would take care of me at lunch because I couldn't go up and get dessert. So she would go up and get it and bring it back for me. And uh, it just helped us kind of develop a honest, relationship. They didn't appreciate it once they heard that. Well, I was going to ask you, what was Katinka's like, reaction when she saw that you could walk? Um, well, Katinka does this thing where, and you'll see it a lot in the movie, where, where she doesn't like what's happening because she's uh, scared or uncomfortable. She just looks away. And so when I did stand up and told her that I could walk, she convinced herself that there had been some switch happen. Like someone else was standing there and trying to convince her that it was Roy again. And, uh, and then she convinced herself that it was her love that had made me be able to walk <laughs> again. She really did. That's cool. Now, was she somebody you just instantly fell in love with, like from the moment you saw her? Yeah, absolutely. She's you know, really kind of ballsy, um, uh, talented little girl. She's very sensitive and very complicated. Um, and we would get, you know, we'd get behind the curtain there, and they would cut a hole for the camera, and um, she would just talk, and she had no no idea she was being filmed. She would, you know, complain about Tarsem, and then everyone in the next room would laugh, and she'd be like, "What are they laughing at?" She just had no idea she was being filmed. So we got to really just kind of talk and, you know, be private, and and um, it was yeah, it was really great to be able to work with someone like that. So a lot of the scenes, like the toe scene, that was sort of improvised? Yeah, it was improvised. It's her really laughing and having a good time with it. And um, and then when I, you know, kind of ask her if she's lying, she's really worried about it. She's worried that she's going to be in trouble about something. Um, yeah, all that stuff was real. But then she figured it out. She figured out the camera. She figured out that she was adorable. And she acted terribly for a while. She acted very kind of princessy and... And, uh, and I remember looking at her and saying, Katinka, you gotta, you gotta really do it. You gotta really um, think about me as someone you love who's dying, and you have to save my life. That's your job. You have to, 
You have to really connect with me and save my life. You have to act. And that's when I think she's, you know, exceptional in the movie. In that last scene where, you know, she's saying, I love you and I don't want you to die. That's, I, that's her, you know, really acting in it. And I think she's great in it. 